there have been many improvements to the tool axis smoothing functionality in Power Mill 2010. One of these improvements is the addition of a new look ahead type smoothing parameter specifically for collision avoidance. This new parameter will eliminate the sudden tool axis change that can occur when we transition from a non tool axis collision avoided toolpath to a collision avoided toolpath. Let's take a look in more detail at an example. The currently active toolpath is a toolpath created in Powermill 10 using surface finishing to machine the selected surface that is highlighted. The problem we have is the overhanging lip here is preventing us from machining this surface with a default tool axis which is vertical. So the collision avoidance is being used to tilt the tool over to get round this overhanging lip. If we animate this toolpath and have a look at the collision avoidance taking place, if we step through this slowly, we can see that here we have our default tool axis uh, that we have defined in the tool axis form. And then when the tool is just about to hit the overhanging lip, the collision avoidance takes over and tilts the tool over in the collision avoidance axis to avoid the collision and then stays at that collision avoided position until there is no more collisions and then quickly tilts back up to the non-collision avoided axis. The problem with this toolpath is that the collision avoidance is taking place over a very short distance. So we have a situation where we have a very large tool axis change over a very short linear distance. And it is this combination that causes chatter marks and dwell marks on the part as the machine tool tries to quickly rotate the machine axes. Now let's take a look at exactly the same toolpath but created in Powermill 11 with the new smoothing parameter. First of all, if we just draw the new toolpath on top of the original Powermill 10 toolpath and zoom into the area where we have the sudden tool axis change and the sudden collision avoidance, we can see quite clearly that there is a much smoother transition in the toolpath between the default tool axis and the collision avoided tool axis. Let's draw the toolpath on its own and we'll attach the tool and simulate. So here we've used a smoothing distance of 20 millimeters. If we look at the tool axis form on the collision avoidance here is the new parameter and it's currently set to 20 millimeters. So basically that means 20 millimeters before the collision avoidance starts to take place, Power Mill slowly change the tool axis to till it reaches the full collision avoidance position. So here if we step along, you can see around about now, which is 20 millimeters from the overhang, the tool is tilting round to avoid the collision. And then at the end of the collision, the collision avoidance is removed over a distance of 20 millimeters. So we can see clearly that there's a much slower, much more gradual transition of the tool axis, which will mean a much improved surface finish and generally a overall higher feed rate on the machine. If we zoom out slightly and we continue this all the way to the end of the pass, you'll notice that we, we go from the collision avoided situation 
back to the non-collision avoided and then when we reach the other overhanging lip we do collision avoidance again and then switch the collision avoidance off. Now in some instances it would be better to stick with the collision avoidance axes rather than keep switching the collision avoidance on and off. So the next in the next toolpath we've increased the smoothing distance even further and now it is set to 60 millimeters. So this time if we attach the tool you can see it's already starting to tilt quite away from the overhanging lip and then when it gets to the end of the first overhang rather than go back up to the non-colliding tool axis it stays at the collision avoided tool axis until it gets to the end of the second overhang and then tilts back up. So the reason for this is simply because we have set the smoothing distance to 60 millimeters and the gap between the two overhangs is less than 2 times 60 millimeters which is 120 millimeters so there is no room for the tool axis to go back to its original position so it stays at the collision avoided position and then continues to the end. We're going to simulate the machine tool motion so we get a good indication of the effects of this smoothing parameter. So first of all we'll go back to the Mill 10 toolpath attach the tool to the start of the pass draw our machine tool zoom out slightly and then play the simulation so here we can see the sudden movement of the head and then the sudden movement back again and then a second time Okay, so if we stop that simulation and now go to our improved, smoothed, collision avoided toolpath. And then simulate again. So here we can see the collision avoidance is gradually introduced and then stays on until the end of the pass and then it's gradually removed.